Hi everybody, Alex the Big Boy Very here at CES 2014 Showstoppers. I'm the Global PR and Communications Director for Maggett and I'm pleased to be here on Tech Bargain showing you a table full of joy here today, ladies and gentlemen. We got so many new products to talk about, I'm gonna jump right on in. Uh, first and foremost, I wanna talk about this bad boy. Uh, this is the Rap TE, the Tournament Edition Rap uh, that we announced earlier this morning. Uh, this is the latest, greatest rat uh, in, our, in, in our rat family. Uh, this one's been designed specifically for the professional or tournament grade gamer. So what we've done with the Rat T, we've stripped out all of the metal, we've stripped out the weight system, and some of the features that perhaps some of the tournament gaming community uh, felt were a little superfluous. So it's the lightest rat ever. It's, uh, it's been, once again been streamlined, stripped of all the metal, extremely light, great for tournament play. It's also got a brand new sensor, the Philips Doppler sensor, that gives you market leading accuracy and speed. An 8200 DPI on board there. So it's the fastest mouse there is, it's the fastest rat we've ever made. The lightest and the fastest, it's also got adjustable lift-off calibration. So uh, lift-off, uh, that refers to the height away from the surface that the mouse will operate at, and with a lift-off calibration system, you can adjust that to within 0.2 microns, uh, which really is a big deal for the professional gaming community out there. Looks beautiful, translucent blue, hardened plastic, really light, really powerful, loaded with great features. Uh, of course, you've got the adjustable palm rest there, and you've got a whole bunch of programmable buttons on board as well. I want to move on. Uh, talk a little bit about the Strike M. Uh, we've shown this a couple of times now, but it's just about ready to roll. Uh, the brand new Stroke Mo uh, Strike mobile keyboard from Mad Cats. Uh, it's got a rechargeable lithium ion battery, Bluetooth compatible, so it'll work with your PC, great for your home theater, uh, great for your tablet or your smart devices. Uh, comes with a little carry case, you can just throw it in your bag and it'll work with just about anything. Not only is it Bluetooth, it's also NFC, near field communication. So if you have NFC on your smart device or your tablet, just tap your device to it and it'll pair instantaneously. Uh, you've got a whole bunch of media keys here as well, back click keys, you've got a little mouse trackpad here as well uh, to replicate the functionality of a mouse. So it really is great for typing on the go. This one is going to be coming out uh, sometime in March or April and is uh, a really great product to watch. I want to talk a little bit about Mojo, of course. I'm not going to talk too long about Mojo because I think we've already spoken to Tech Bargains about this. Uh, but Mojo has just won a CES Innovations Honorary Award. Uh, it's the most powerful Android games console in the world. It launched on December the 10th. Uh, and is, is doing such great business for Mad Cats at the moment. So uh, please check out madcats.com if you want to find out a little bit more about Mojo. Uh, Mojo is the open source games console from Mad Cats. Uses NVIDIA's Tegra 4 chipset, uh, 16 gig of onboard RAM, two gig of, uh, uh, sorry, two gig of onboard RAM, 16 gig of onboard storage. It's the most powerful Android games console there is. I'm also pleased to announce that because we're using NVIDIA's Tegra 4 chipset, Game stream technology is coming very soon to Mojo, which is going to allow you to stream your games and content from compatible PCs directly to Mojo and use the Control R to play that on your big screen TV. The Control R comes with every Mojo that you purchase. Uh, it's the most advanced Bluetooth controller in the world, uh, one of the first to use Bluetooth 4.0. Now, an issue that you get with regular Bluetooth controllers is one of latency. Typically, it's not so good for core gaming use. Uh, it gives you around 100 milliseconds of latency. If you compare that to something like an Xbox 360 that gives you 20 milliseconds of latency, you can see why core gamers really don't like Bluetooth controllers. By using Bluetooth 4.0, we brought that down to seven milliseconds of latency. So it's extremely fast, extremely powerful, very low energy consumption as well. It'll give you around 50 hours of gameplay from two AAA batteries. Uh, the Control R also features something unique called mouse mode on board. Uh, on mouse mode, the left analog thumbstick is going to replicate the movement of a mouse or a mouse cursor, and it's going to allow you to use many touch screen enabled games and applications on your big screen TV. So the Control R comes with every mojo that you purchase. You can buy it now for 250 bucks at madcats.com. Uh, scrolling through the rest of our table here, you can see we're taking a look at some new Titanfall accessories from Mad Cats. Uh, these are going to be launching in time uh, for the launch of Titanfall later on this year. Uh, we've got the brand new Titanfall Strike 3 keyboard. We've got the Titanfall Rat 3 mouse. Uh, perhaps most exciting of all is the Titanfall Freak 4D headset. Uh, the Freak 4D headset uses the brand new VivaTouch technology uh, invented by the folks at Bayer Material Sciences, the pharmaceutical guys. Uh, and inside the Freak 4D, uh, Chris, can you just pass over the Freak 4D? Can I do a little, I'm gonna pause your game there and just pass over the Freak 4D for me. 
Uh, so these are the Freak 4D for Titanfall. Let's see if it'll stretch across here for the folks at Tech Bargains. I just want to show here that inside the ear cup, you've actually got a piece of film. It's a piece of uh, polymer that's actually inside the ear cup. And it's, uh, it's, it's got different um, actuators on board the film. So it works like a human muscle. When sound is, is, is passed through the film and through the actuators, the film expands and contracts like a human muscle, and it gives you an incredible bass sensation inside the ear cup. So uh, it's kind of like wearing an IMAX theater on your head, produces really great bass effect, sensational rumble, perfect for when you're playing Titanfall on PC. Uh, we've also got for Xbox 360 lovers, we've got the uh, Xbox 360 Titanfall Triton Kunai headset. Uh, the Kunai is a phenomenal headset for Xbox 360, and we've got our special Titanfall edition uh, coming to commemorate the launch of the game. Uh, over here, my friend Chris is uh, going to be playing the uh, Xbox One Force Feedback Racing Wheel. Uh, we've shown this before, but it's now finished and ready to go. Look at it go. It's so, it's so powerful, it's got a mind of its own, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so this is the Xbox One Force Feedback Racing Wheel, uh, the most powerful racing wheel in the world, uh, and it's been designed in conjunction with the folks from Turn 10, uh, of course, who made Forza. Uh, it's got dual helical force feedback motors on board that gives you a most unbelievably realistic force feedback sensation. Uh, now, Microsoft have really worked on the force feedback protocol with Xbox One. It's far more advanced than it was on Xbox 360, uh, so it's far more realistic in use, and this wheel really takes advantage of that. Uh, full uh, metal construction on the actual wheel head. The wheel head itself has got a, a leather suede uh, covering as well, so it really does feel like a simulation product. The pedal set down here is something of beauty as well. Uh, even the pedals is so, com uh, is, uh, so convenient, and you can actually adjust so many different aspects of the pedal set. You can adjust the height of the pedals, you can adjust the width of the pedals, bring them closer together or further apart, uh, you can even adjust the angle as well. So if you're using it on a play seat, you can adjust the angle of the pedal set. A really unique aspect about the wheel, and if you want to pan back to me here as well, is that the actual face is uh, detachable. So you can actually detach the wheel head from the base unit. So the idea is that you have one wheel through the entire life cycle of the console, and you can swap out different wheel heads for different games. If you want an F1 head, if you want a simulation head, or an arcade racer wheel head, you can actually adjust and put on different components. It's a completely modular system with different components coming on board throughout the life of the wheel as well. The amazing Xbox One Force Feedback Racing Wheel is available for pre-order right now at madcats.com. It's gonna be uh, retailing for $400. And uh, once again, check out madcats.com for further details of the Xbox wheel and everything you see here today. I'm Alex the Big Boy Very, reporting for Tech Bargains.